Hey everyone, welcome back to The Budget Sportsman. Thank you so much for joining me outside on this very cold mid-January day in central Pennsylvania. We had negative six on the thermometer last night, but I wanted to come outside and make a quick video for you about this deer hoy system that we've been using this past year here at our hunting property. The first thing you're gonna need is a gambrel. That's this device right here, and they cost anywhere from 10 to $15. Uh, this one is made by HME, Hunting Made Easy. One thing I want to point out to you is that if you go to buy one of these, you want to make sure that it has really good hooks like this. Some of them, they just kind of come and curve out. Because what you're going to do is you're going to put your deer hanging on this, and it's two back legs are going to be hanging here. When you get all the way almost done butchering, you're going to be done, you're going to be have two hind quarters hanging on either side here. And when you go to take one off, the other one obviously now weighs it down. If you don't have a really good hook right here, you're going to wind up with your one back quarter laying on the ground. The good thing about this system is I found that it'll, it'll swing down, but it will stay on there and it won't come flying off. All right, this piece right here is really the piece that makes this whole system work so well. This is a boat winch uh, that you would use for a boat trailer to winch your boat up on. I got it at Harbor Freight for $20 or $25 with the cable and everything on it. And so we just have that mounted up to a tree here, and it's perfect the way we have this hanging. I'll show the rest in a minute. But when we want to raise or lower the deer, man, you just crank this thing right up. It goes up, flip the little lever, you can crank it back down, lock it into place. And so it's perfect. As you're skinning the deer, you're going to start with it low, you're working from the back, then you can just crank it up as you're pulling down that hide. As you start cutting off pieces of meat and quartering the thing up, um, it's really nice to be raise it and lower it as needed. We've tried other systems before where it was just hanging from a tree, we couldn't raise it and lower it at all, and after a while you're bending way over to get down around the neck, and uh, it was a real pain. So this is awesome. Now let me show you how we have it all put together. All right, well as you can see, we've got this big frame coming off the tree. It's probably nine feet high, so that when you crank that deer up, you can get it way up there and work down around its neck and its front legs without having to bend over too much. Now I can already hear some of you complaining about us screwing all these boards into that tree. If you look around, we've got plenty of trees here. I'm not too worried about killing a tree on this property. And it's a good cheap way for us to have a post. If we had to go out and buy a big 4x4 or 6x6 post to make this and cement it into the ground, this project would have got a whole lot more expensive. Now you can probably see right there at the bottom is our winch, runs up to a pulley, and then back down to our gambrel works absolutely amazing. Now if you happen to have scrap lumber laying around or you can find some scrap lumber to do this, this project can be done for $40 to $50. Probably $10 for the gambrel, $20 for the winch. You're in at $30, maybe $35 by now, and a few dollars at the hardware store for a pulley. Maybe some extra hardware, but you're probably still going to be in it for $40 to $50 at the most. And let me just tell you, it is an amazing system. We used it last past year for probably six or seven deer and it just worked so well for us, so much better than anything else we've used in the past. Now one thing I wanted to mention is you can do this if you've got a hunting camp, it's awesome. But even if you hunt public land, but you've got a little bit of a yard in, behind your house where you could set up something like this, bring the deer home, process it yourself, it's the way to go. Now this particular setup is at my parents' house, and it's about 30 yards actually into the woods from their house, just kind of across the driveway yard area there. And one thing that we've been able to do is we actually have a buried water line and a buried electric line to this spot. So that when we're working, we can wash our hands, we can clean up the deer if we need to. And also the electric line, because a lot of times, you know, you end up shooting that deer uh, late in the evening, that prime time. By the time you drag it out and you get it back and ready to process, it's often dark. And so it's really nice having the electric here to set up lights and be able to work with some light on the subject. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Maybe consider doing something like this at the place that you hunt or the place that you process your deer. If you do, please let me know how it goes for you. I'd love to hear how you make your skinning station. And until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.